You guys, come here for a minute. Take a look. There's nowhere that I can find on how to remove this here. You might look here, you might look here, here, and see that there's no cotter pin, there's no uh, Allen, there's, there's nothing, okay? So I can't find anything that shows you how to take this cone off so I can change that prop. If you take a look down here at these props, right here, that's the one that was on it, the big old elephant ear, okay? I made a mistake by allowing my buddy to go on ahead and try and fix it. He's just a regular welder. See what happened there? I chewed it up. But lucky it happened because go ahead and look at this. It shifted. Okay? That shifted over. This one here I bought used and it's been replaced. Okay? It's the hub. It's called the hub. Now, these are giant elephant ear. Uh, props for a Volvo Penta 290 uh, look at this tiny one that I had purchased look look at the difference okay I had listened to someone and they had led me astray and got the small one that's all they had okay I just needed something for the boat you know to drive they said I couldn't get it get one of these which was a lie but I put this on performance went drastically it, it shot down Okay, if I pop that cover off, I can change the linkage in it. I can make I can make it spin this way and drive or this way. They gave me a clockwise, which is not stock, prop. Okay, these, as you can see, are counterclockwise prop. So after I remove this, I'm gonna have to go on in here and change the linkage. Just swap it over. It's just a bar. Change the linkage and put it back to the way it was. I'm happy I found this from someone. Hundred bucks. Uh, you could, you can't believe how aesthetic I am. It was five hundred bucks to have this one. The hub needs to be fixed, and now that that my buddy welded it, it added another two hundred dollars on top of it just to get rid of the welds. And he ground it down, okay, with a grinder to smooth it out. Now they have to add metal. So that's garbage. Scrap it. Throw it in the garbage. This one here, I got very lucky. I'm going to show you how to remove the cone, and hopefully I'm going to show you how to uh, switch linkets on a Volvo Penta 290. Let's get to it. Now, you need a hammer and something stout to get in there. Some of these are counterclockwise or not. It's normal. So, come on, baby. All right, not too bad. I forgot how I did it when I got the boat years ago. Look at this. Come right off. All right. That's very simple. Nothing else holding nothing on. As you can see, there's nothing. Hope I don't need a puller. If I do, I got to get one. No, I don't. It popped right off. You guys see that? Pop right off. Let me grab some grease. Hold on, boys. I'm going to show you.